All right, here we go. 2021, 2021 top series one jumbo case break number two. These are your teams. Thank you everybody very much. We appreciate it. Good luck to you. This will be a long one, about an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, there will be a full recap at the end. Oh. A recap. Yeah, it was a uh, insert uh, MVP or not MVP rookie of the year contender, I believe, to forty nine. That's impressive because I usually don't remember anything past five minutes ago. Impressive to me.
right, let's get these first. These are weird. Matt Chapman. Shohei. Raphael Devers. Javier Baez. Two o'clock in the morning, everybody ditched me. <laughs> Pete Alonzo, if you're watching this right now on YouTube, Sorry, it's not going to be the most entertainment for me, but hopefully the break pays off. Get you some Bob Ross peace. Who? Uh. <sighs> For all of the breaks? I don't want to stop opening, so I'll just talk uh, in code. Siri's talking to me through my headphones, so it's kind of cool. <laughs> no, it works. You text something, she tells me, I say it out loud right now in a response, and then it's like, uh, it's like a new aged instant messenger. They just created some crazy technology. Loophole. <laughs> for once, uh, the other guys usually just uh, eyeball them for you. What do you do? Send them there and they say, yes, this will go. No, this will go. And then this doesn't go, but you still owe me two bucks, something like that. Oh, so who's doing the, the submissions? Who's everyone else? thought you were sending them off to somebody else. I didn't know you were doing them. Ah. Gotcha. Do you charge them for the review? I mean, it's kind of time intensive. You know, you're asking for like an extra four hours, right? Is 
because I'm not going to go uber through uber slow through this one and delay this one into like four o'clock in the morning to catch them all. So I'm going to have to go back through them all again. That'll take a minimum half an hour times seven. I kind of feel like that's a really big ask. Um, shit. they won't ship I'll do it but they won't ship until like midweek I'm not gonna take away from everybody else's stuff just to do that that's free getting five up four or five hours and that those are my terms They will come, but not right away. I think that's more than fair. The PSA order, Shane. Yeah. All right, cool. Fair enough. Where are these things going for anyway? I've had four people ask me that. I actually broke it down like hour by hour what it would take for extra cost and asked them if they wanted to pay it. Man, you're doing two for the same thing you just asked. Um, Shane, you're doing 200 cards a month and then sending those 200 to the guy you're just reviewing for people you know. Man, your neck must hurt. Do you clean them too? Just send all mine to you. <laughs> I don't want to do all that. I've got like at least 900 cards to go through and clean. I've already booked them for centers, edges, and corners. Wow. It's got to take so much time. You should make a website for that or something. If you're able to find people that you could trust to help you with it, like uh, reviewing it, you guys would have to be together, I would suppose. I... I I don't think that it's hard to train. I mean, you can you can see corner and edge with your eye. I mean, centering, they have tools that you can use. And, uh, you know, surface is where you take your chance. Unless you got a clean surface and you take your chance on a corner. A corner my opinion I know a lot of people are like oh, you're robbing yourself of a lot of nines nines are good I don't play for second place come on one at all <laughs> all right here we go 
Why are my model closer? No. All right, cool. Swipe that. Um, look at it later in case I miss something. All right, let's go. Yeah, I agree. At, at, at this point, it didn't used to be. It was like, if you're not dead for sure, um, that you're getting a 10, then forget it on a card that wouldn't be worth the grade uh, Christian Javier Albert Almora to 70 nice Oh, and a Joey Bart. Forgot to bring my team sheet over. Nope, I didn't. It's there. Chat's covering it. Right, Joey Bart, they didn't even sell. That's crazy. And that's kind of cool. Nostalgic. Man, somebody told me last night that the LaMelo Ball rookie cards out of hoops, just beast rookie cards are going for like seven. Well, he said a hundred, but I looked it up today. And they're like 70 bucks a piece. You believe that? Selling those spots for 300 bucks on a 10 box break. In a 10 box break, you get like 10 of them. So uh, I don't have any more hoops, but if you see anybody with some, do that dollar cost average. He's good too. I went back and watched like four of his games. <laughs> He's so smooth. He gets to the hole. Plays defense. Not great. Defense, but he plays defense. Gets out on the break. He's got crazy floaters. Just like they come from wherever his hand is with the ball at the moment. If it's at his hip, at his knee, like. And it kind of looks like a shot. Just comes out of nowhere. Have you watched him at all? I I was very impressed. I didn't think that we were going to get that. I saw a little of Wiseman and uh, a little bit of Edwards. I watched some of the Bulls rookie, Gallard, I think. Um, but I haven't got a chance to look at Halliburton yet. This is, everyone says he's the best, and no one wants it. See, like just super balanced, not very exciting, but efficient. Giolito and Griffey Jr. 
stars in service. Why is that one backwards? Bang! Jackie Robinson, let's go. Stitch that on your jean jacket. I don't know. I think I was uh, I'm really surprised with this draft class for basketball. Lorenzo Kane. Not quite sure how I feel about baseball's rookie class, but everyone keeps saying it's so good and so deep. What am I missing, Shane? Is it, is it that it's not like some superstar that we've been waiting for? Yeah, in baseball. Sorry, I transitioned on you. Wade LeBlanc, Joe Adele, that's cool, except for the oven mitt. I wish they'd figure out something better than that. It looks so weird. Pete Alonzo, Wade Stash, bro. I think he lost a bet. Spencer Howard. What's that? No. Oh. To two thousand and twenty one. D Strange Gordon. Hmm. Is that like a nickname variation? Javier Baez? No hype. That's cool though. People have to do their homework and be smart. Uh, Oliver Perez. Clement, <laughs> I love it. Clemente. Oh, there's it's double. Got another one on the back. Or is that what the back of a? I've never looked at the back of his rookie card. They don't look like that. I've seen the backs of other though. No, really? How would you do that? Is that what they're at right now? You know, he's the second fastest player ever, or their second youngest player ever to reach a thousand points. That's that's my card. That's 
That's the one I'm going to buy next. Him. The original, though. I don't know what kind of grade I want to get it in, but not too much. See, uh, my buddy pulled the, a Millard Fillmore cut auto out of Eminence. <laughs> he put it on, oh, that's cool. Put it on Instagram. He's like, I bet none of you know about this guy. I'm like, uh, I do. <laughs> I think he sold that thing for like five grand. No, dude, not at all. For sure. Go for it. It's like a hundred percent. Yes. Uh, jerks and profar. Got a Javier Baez home run challenge. Those things worth anything? Now that's a flip. Those home run challenges. You don't have long. Ooh, nice. Keston Hira. Brewers. Dustin. Nice. <laughs> I don't, that's a lot for sure. Appreciate it. Man, that EEE -E -E will have a ton of hits. How many are there? Three, I think. Yeah, they're still here. Three of them. I think there'll be at least 15. cool because a lot of them you kind of just shrug your shoulders and say I don't know that guy and you just wait three years and shows up in Bowman oh that would be sick Sterling oh want I still have an old Sterling box it's pretty cool I can't remember what year it's from. You know, I mean, So yeah, it's it is. It's totally expensive. But so are the cards that come out of it. So it goes hand in hand. I mean, the percentage, if you did it, it's pretty close to what it would be if it was at, you know, three, four years ago prices. Um except for like the super tough guys. Uh the thing that I think people have a problem with is not everyone can afford to get in now, period. Even though that is like, you know, what it is. Pretty 
percentage wise it's kind of you know not much different the grading and patience is really where the profits is coming in Uh, the Phillies are kind of the top team in this. Alec Baum. Uh, Javier Baez. Um, finally, maybe cats are not chicken. I don't know. That's fine with me. I, I mean, you go to a card show and those kids are going to show you different. They probably have a more impressive collection than you do. So that's how it is at nationals. It's nuts. It's stupid. Like, young ones are super hustlers. <laughs> nice. I love it. Thank you. Yeah, dude. Same place. Culture. Just kind of know it, feel it, you know? It's a really big country. A lot of places are really different. Oh, yeah, for sure. Or just completely tank for a period of time that, I mean, because everything comes back except for not everything, like print. Um, Evan White, blue. But a lot of people can't sustain it. The length of when it goes down.
Yeah, because, you know, reasons. Because they can. That's all. Because they can. Didn't think it through. Forgot that there were people's livelihoods at stake. The ones that they are supposed to represent. The ones that pay them. Their employer, employer, and uh, yeah, it's kind of fucked up. David Dahl, Mookie Betts. So weird how they do that over the logo. <laughs> Stars in service. So are we getting uh, Nickelodeon cards in the upcoming Panini releases? Is there going to be like a Panini Nickelodeon because all the NFL stuff? Yeah, hustle like in, in sports. Like you're busting your ass. You're working hard. <laughs> See that? Bang. I don't even look at the player on these. I just look at spots so I can see the rookie sign. And then the rest of them stand out. Kirby Yates. These are really cool. They've got some weird, like, depth to them. I like them. Okay. Not sure if you could do that on a Chrome card. Shane, do you know what they call this parallel? Or anyone? Go ahead and comment down below. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. <laughs> Willie Mays, uh, variation or... SP. Roar. Every time I see a Fernando Tatis Jr. card, I say, I love Tim Anderson. I love Tim Anderson. <laughs> Got another one. Yay, me. Green ice. Nice. Oh, I guess that's an okay way to describe it. I don't really see it as icy. Ozzy Albiez. Zeno. <laughs> I can do that. I just, it would be embarrassing how infrequently it happens.
Phantasie hier. Uh, okay, fair enough. Garrett Cole. Hopefully he can bring the Padres as much joy as Ozzy Guillen was able to bring us. Then we're even. But man, that was a really bad trade. Jake Shields contract was so high and he was barely a number five starter. We were barely playoff contention. Tim Anderson, 2021. Jake Shields, James Shields, whatever. That guy. All right, Theo. No problem with that. We, uh, I put together uh, little packs for kids that we can give away to at the shop. Miguel Rojas, the 50. They all come in after school every day. It's hilarious. James Shields. Yeah, he was real memorable for not a good reason. <laughs> yeah, we call it the, the Rack Pack. Like cool ones that we get from the breaks that uh, aren't worth a whole lot, but are pretty cool. Um, Call them random acts of kindness. You just give the pack out to somebody. Open it up and bang. It's pretty cool. Uh, Jose Garcia. Trouty. Ugh. Dude. Jeff Bagwell. See, they're making another Coming to America. See how I made that jump from Jeff Bagwell to Coming to America? Oh, for real? Nice, man. Congratulations. It's a game changer, that's for sure. Ah, and then I'm done for a while. Gotcha. That's a good pack when you get that, that pack. Madrigal and Bomb together. It's 
Sneaky value in collation. Omar Navarez. Where are you going, Brooks? That's from last year. Dansby. Christian Yelich. Hey dude, these little patch things are growing on me. Year by year. Bagwell for Larry Anderson? I don't remember that. Carlson and Varda are together. Do you know if it's going to be a boy or a girl? Knee dirt, oil rookie, Kyle Lewis. Ah, you remember that year, Stadium Club? That was weird. Super weird. The uh, Mariano Rivera rookie card, that was weird. Dudes are hanging out in like Zumba pants or zebra. What were they called? Like those hammer pants. For real? That's a lot. Parachute pants. 15 to 20 bucks back then. Jeez. Fashion. Uh, Edward Eduardo Rodriguez. 299. Tommy Edmund. Orange Ice. Oh, yeah, the pro <laughs> Those were funny. Wilson Contreras. I identified them in birth. Sorry, I should have said male or female. <laughs> I don't know. I don't care. Like, whatever. I'll call you whatever you want, but until you tell me what it is, I'm just. Sorry, I don't know what else to do.
Yeah, dude. That's the media in totality, though. That's just... You're seeing that side and being shocked. The other side is seeing your side and being shocked. That's, you know... And yeah, there are some severe fucktards that are really hard and weird to understand. But at the end of the day, they're fucking people too. So whatever. Jordan Alvarez. Nolan Ryan. SP. Variation. Whatever. The card can tell me what it wants me to call it. Uh, when was the news ever the news? The news has always been, this is what we want you to think. This is what we're telling you. We choose to tell you this. And we choose to tell you this because we think you want to hear it. It just keeps getting more targeted. Whoa, dude. Come on. Home run derby, Chris Bryant. Camera's like, dude, stop talking about this stuff. Fuck night guy, huh? Figure out what's wrong with you. Sorry. Uh, left off on the Chris Bryant. Chipper Jones to two ninety nine. Battery pack. I if that's the problem. If this is too tight. Maybe it's just too tight. I don't know. No, dude. That's just a story that people write to fuck with you, to piss you off. That's not real. It's not true. It's <laughs> Was it going to be half racist if Patrick Mahomes won? Come on. Colton Wong. Some people do. Some people believe in Buddha or Jesus or the Bible. Like we can keep going about outrageous things that people believe in that everyone thinks is perfectly normal. But I mean, There are so many things that are weird that we just go along in our daily lives and never question. Scientology. Yeah, Sam, like, yeah, the whole fucking, 
Like Santa Claus is Christmas now. Well, that's kind of dying out too, I think. Maybe that's just because where my kids are in age. It's just people, man. Just culture and people and the way they got brought up. <laughs> There's not, but for some weird reason, I still believe. To 99, Chris Taylor. Okay. Oh, Hank Aaron. We're just crushing it on the patch cards. poke holes, but uh, I can draw a lot of parallels in religion to how kids act when they find out Santa Claus isn't real. Kyle Lewis? That's a nice one. Put that in the nice one stack. Here's the duel. I like these. It's like two old cards in one. You need to go over transactional cards. Uh, what's that section of town that they shut down in Portland? You can drop it off there. I love it. So I thought they had like a acronym or something for it. The place they shut down for a couple of weeks, barricaded off, said no police or outside anything. Ah, it's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, Ian Anderson. Cool. Michael Jack. What is that? The Chavs, yeah. <laughs> Chop, is that what they call it? Chop? I don't know, man. I'm just kind of in the zone of the world's crazy, the world's normal. 
everyone believes what they believe because that's how they grew up or they decided that they wanted to go believe something else. So, and it's all different. But at the end of the day, we're all fucking people. And as long as you're not some extremist weirdo, you're going to be able to get along with everybody else in society, even though they don't believe exactly what you believe in. Jesus Lazardo. Who's that? Cody Bellinger? What's that patch? It's like a rose and flower from a blouse. Ooh, let's get Tim back on that. You need a screenshot? Figure out what that's from? It's a little bit of a code there. It says one, two, three, four, five, six. That's not going to get you anywhere. There are a lot of weirdos, but there's always been a lot of weirdos. You just didn't know it because you couldn't see it. And now the world's so connected. Everybody can see everything. Ronald Acuna Jr. to 2021. Remember when numbered cards were just badass, no matter what they were numbered to? Like, whoa, only 5,000 of these? <laughs> oh, they do. I mean, it's just all sensationalized, you know. And it's emotional. It's emotional time. Like, people don't know how to react to crazy yes last three years we've had not blaming it on anybody but it's just been really crazy You got to remember too, there's a lot of old people that have never been on the internet before that are starting to get on the internet now. They're probably going to be pretty easily manipulated. You know how easy it is to go down a rabbit hole sometimes just on like YouTube or something? Next thing you know, you got some people telling you a book they read in 1967 is now a religion and you should join it and give them all your money. <laughs> John Means? Josh Donaldson? They do, man. They do. They get everybody. They get, I mean, they just target you. They're easy. They'll get you. Don't be dumb. Listen. Think. Oh, man. It should be about like four fifty a case now. That year is terrible. And those cards were terrible. Ugh, that was a bad year. Probably nine million dollars now, right? <laughs> Ninety-six hundred. Ugh. Man, that was back when they had map. Well, they still have map but it doesn't really apply. But that was back when map was a thing and you had to get rid of it before map expired or you were screwed. <laughs> That'd be a badass card. I like Inception. That'd probably be a sticker though, wouldn't it?
They keep getting better and better on Inception. Remember how chippy and awful it used to be? I think we're all just waiting for them to make it good. Like these are going to be awesome one year. Sean Manea to 2021. <laughs> Dr. Island <Heineke. laughs> That's right. I don't know. There's another box left in all these packs here. Maybe we'll get one. Hey, we got a Juan Soto gold last night out of a case. So, you know, there's that. Hey, hey Juan. Speak of the devil. Must have read that on a message board or something. One of my trot auto per case. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, not a message board, like a Discord group. It's not uh, message boards anymore. You guys use Discord or Slack or anything like that? I think it's a really cool concept that we could use. I just don't want don't know much about it. Should check into that. probably be a really good communication tool better than Facebook well because you know it's like well everyone's on Facebook you tell everybody to go to Facebook the people that are on Twitter don't want to go there vice versa and there's the Instagram only crowd and the old school crowd that only reads email and you know it's it would be great just to have a one place, one stop. Sh Here's where all the information is. Acuna? None? No? See? Exactly. A lot of people are like that, I think. Ooh, that'd be sick. One on one trout on it. Come on. Sorry guys, I just stole your one one trout out of Dynasty. Seriously, you're gonna throw this thing at the wall. It's not even hot. Yeah, Twitter, I don't get it either. Everyone's so mean and angry. I'm like, ugh. You get into some of those comments and it's just pure hate. Why are you guys so angry? You call that keyboard muscles? 
something. <laughs> Try to hot up her case. It's a weird one. Zach Birdie. I think it it is everywhere. It's just like you want to have a feeling of belonging and your emotion gets triggered and you just kind of pick a side and you roll with it. It's uh I think it's really easy to manipulate people on the internet. Forget about like influencing them, they like just straight up manipulate them. Eighty percent of the things you say on the internet you wouldn't say to somebody in real life. Not a chance. Yeah, me too. That's, uh, I'm a, well, I'm just like a hermit introvert anyway, so <clears throat> that suits me well. I don't need all that. Dahlbeck had all the craziness I can handle. Ooh, big patch card coming. And an Ernie Banks. Uh, variation. SP. Hey, who do you think this is going to be? I'm going with Ricky Henderson. I'll wait for, uh, I'll hang up and wait for your answer. That's not a cue for you to turn off again, camera. Fucker. Fucking like metal. Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. Yeah. Hey, dude, you're raking on Alec Baum. What are Alec Baum rookies going for right now? Shane, do you know? Tatis Jr. Definitely not the most sexy card, base rookie. But highly coveted these days. There it is. Bang. We are all right. Must have been an easy one. Twenty bucks. Eight dollars each. That's a lot.
Damn. Cal's getting thick. Look how big his dome looks. That's weird. His face was a little more chiseled. I'd say that he's pumping some HGH. Why would your head get so big that old? His head's never been that big. Nine each on all the Adele's. Not these ones, right? Uh, what is that? Lizardo. I just, I think it's very interesting how things are kind of circling back towards like flagship products where before we were kind of like forced to take them. Now they're coveted. Or demand. I hope they don't screw this all up and overprint everything. Keep it how it is, ride the wave. Michael Taylor. Don't change what's making you money. Oh, bang. Look at that. It's a little off center. Not to write, but you know. Still, that's a that's a daddy right there. Whew. Actually probably sells for like ten bucks. <laughs> You know, people always ask me, what's the most expensive card you've ever pulled? <laughs> It'd probably be worth more as a reprint. You list it as a mini. Reprint mini. How are you going to cut it, though? It'd be hard to cut a card with, like, scissors or something. Maybe, like, an X-Acto knife? I don't know. How do, they, how do they trim edges? Everybody talks about how there's so many trimmed cards. How do they do that? All right, so we're gonna slide into a recap and do the silver packs at the end. Uh, here's what we had. Um, it's an Ernie Banks variation. Zach Birdie. A real nice Joey Bart. Uh, Albert Almara, 10 out of 70. To cut one. Um, Christian Yelich, to 299. Mookie Betts, 
to 10. Wow, I didn't see that first time around. Mookie Betts to 10. Uh, Javier Baez, not numbered. Some other relics. Kyle Lewis. Keston Hira. Jesus Lazardo. Wilson Contreras. Ozino Eldiez. Javier Baez. A couple patch cards. Ricky Henderson. <laughs> patch cards. Hank Aaron. Jackie Robinson Jr. Uh, we had no big card autos. Just those guys. Um, and these guys. Chapman, Johnson, Jackie Robinson, Alec Baum, boom. Sixto Sanchez, Mike Yastrzemski, Joey Vato, and Mookie Betts, orange to 25. Nice. Doyers, Grizzle Bees. God, Mookie's so good. I can't believe they let him go. Dalton Varsho, Ken Griffey Jr., Frank Thomas, best of the 90s. Bang. No steroids. Fuck you, Jeff Bagwell. Should have been four MVPs in a row. Yon Mancata to 150. For real, think about that. Ooh, nice Trouty. Cabrera. Ooh, Miggy's good friends with a uh, guy we just hired. That'll be fun. Do some breaks with Miguel Cabrera. Nolan Ryan. Aaron Judge. Juan Soto and Jonathan Arales. Totally nailed that pronunciation. <clears throat> Will Clark, the thrill. Jose Canseco, Pete Alonzo, and Steven Strasburg. Will Clark, man, he sells really well. Yeah, nice card of his. Kiebert Ruiz, Spencer Howard, Christian Javier, uh, Roberto Clemente, I don't understand the Joey Gallo fascination at all it's gross to me that like some guy is allowed to sit there and only swing for home runs and have no repercussion hit 180 not even hit that many home runs or drive in runs like it just how does that help a baseball team win games Bo Bouchette and Trevor Story Hit, run, throw, catch. Play the game. Try to jack bombs every single pitch. Shane Bieber, Clayton Kershaw, Luis Garcia, and 
Brandon Lowe to 75. Like the home run derby is really fun to watch, but it's a home run derby, not a baseball game. I like a Jose Abreu type of game. Ooh, nice Joey Doe. Hank Aaron. Anderson Tejada. All right, all you should try to be doing is getting on base in that spot. Yadier Molina. Brandon Lowe, Brady Singer to 150. I mean, in the American League. Got the pitcher sitting there at nine. You might want to let an eight or seven or eight guys swing away. Freddie Freeman, Garrett Cole. Mazzardo and Bryce Harper. That's going to do it. That's it on this one. Thank you, everybody, very much. We appreciate it. See you all in the next one.